David Moya with the CarmelValleyLife.com, and I'm here with Riley Bandy from Dirty Dogs. Uh, we're excited to be here with him to chat a little bit about what's going on with Dirty Dogs. Uh, I'm a fan of Dirty Dogs, um, but I, I wanted to ask you a question, Riley. There are a lot of different options out there for not only Carmel Valley residents, but uh, residents of San Diego County as a whole. Uh, what makes Dirty Dogs so special, and why, why should somebody go visit you guys? Yeah, so one of the things we talk about with a lot of our customers is how Dirty Dogs has really become a one-stop shop for pet owners. And when I say that, I mean, you know, we offer professional grooming, we offer healthy food, healthy treats, um, frozen food, bones, all the different necessities that you need in terms of, you know, consumables, products. And then we also have what's extremely popular is do-it-yourself washing. So at Dirty Dogs, it's called a you-do-it scrub. What that means basically is that dog owners can bring their dog in after the beach, after running at the park, after you know going on a trail run, and actually wash their dog in our tubs on their own with shampoo, with hot water, with everything. And you know that's it's a really it's a bonding experience for the person and their dog, and uh, people really like it because you know it's inexpensive, it's quick, it's easy. You don't have to deal with the cleanup. It doesn't break your back. So you know. One of the nice oh, yeah. things, you know, like you know, I love it. I, I do it probably once or twice a week. With, absolutely. Uh, with <laughs> yeah, it's easy. You know, we have blow dryers, we have towels. You don't have to wreck your bathroom. It's fantastic. We always say to people, hey, as soon as you try our you do it scrubs, uh, you're never going to use your garden hose again. Yeah, no, that's true. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And I know, um, I know you guys are having a lot of events, and. Um, you know what, what? What type of events are you having lately? Are going to have, and and uh, how can people find out more about them? Yeah, absolutely. So Dirty Dogs has been around about six years, and one of the big things that we've done um, ever since we first opened is try to create experiences where you know dog owners can come out with their dogs and have social hour. These different things. Originally, they were called the appetizers and wine. That's still an event that we have um, about six times a year. Um, with one of the most popular ones being a costume contest around Halloween. Um, but one of the things that we are now getting more involved in is events that are not just at our stores but are at other locations. So we've recently launched these events called Bark After Dark. Um, so these are events, we just had one recently at a brewery, a small uh, local brewery in Sorrento Valley. Um, and we're having our next one on February 25th. It's a Tuesday night from 5 to 9 at Culture Brewery in Solana Beach. Um, it's on Cedro Street. So these are, you know, they're dog-friendly destinations. They're people, or they're places that people like to go at nighttime, you know, have a beer, have a glass of wine, you know, this sort of thing. And then bringing your dog along, it just makes it this experience of sharing um, these social environments with your dog. So that's, that's a lot of fun. We've also... Uh, one of the new things that we're doing is really trying to appreciate all the different kinds of dogs that come through our store. We're really fortunate to live in North County, San Diego, where you know people have a lot of exotic breeds. They have a lot of poodle mixes, golden doodles, labradoodles, and these are really fun breeds. And what we want to do is give people opportunities to get all those breeds together. Um, so we're having these breed appreciation days at our stores. Um, they happen at each store once a month, and we basically offer, hey, free baths free self-serve baths for a certain breed every month at every, at each store. So last wow. month we did uh, Golden Retriever Appreciation Day in Cardiff. We did Boxer Appreciation Day Carmel Valley. Next week we're actually having Australian Shepherd Appreciation Day in Cardiff. Um, and then, you know, we're trying to put together a way where our customers can vote for which kind of Appreciation Day we're having next. We've had a lot of interest um, just in having a rescue dog appreciation day, which we're going to be scheduling. Um, but at this point, the, you next, I'll be it. I'll be there for that one. Yeah, so will I. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, Riley. Well, I'll be sure to to include a link below this video so uh, whoever's watching can can uh, get on your website, find out more information about your events. And I know you guys do a lot of um, Facebook Facebook. Um, promoting you know, your events and so forth, so we'll be sure to include some sort of link there as well. Uh, Riley, thanks so much, and uh, we'll definitely have you on here again, talk about um, some of the uh, specifics on maybe some grooming um, and, and any events coming up after, obviously, this conversation we're having. So thanks again, Riley. Great. Thanks, David.